What's going on guys, it's Tommy from Galpin Auto Sports. So this week's episode, we're gonna be finishing up the Rolls Royce Wraith that came in for a blackout package. We're working on a uh, Raptor for Galpin Ford. The black one we did went off so well, so we're doing a left for gray one. We're uh, finishing up the Subaru BRZ. We were waiting for the Stillin brakes to be built. They were built, they were brought in. So you guys are gonna see that whole project done. And lastly, we have a Defender that was brought in. It just was brought in for a little bit of upkeep and maintenance work. Check it out guys. So the Rolls Royce Wraith is done. It's completely blacked out. A couple of minor touches that we did was the customer didn't want the factory Rolls Royce uh, logos or emblems, how they're chrome with black writing. They wanted the reverse. They wanted it to be black with chrome or silver writing. So we got that taken care of. We um, put some clear bra on the door handles and the door cups. The customer wears a lot of jewelry, so we wanted to make sure that they don't scratch the door handles that have been freshly painted. That's been taken care of. Everything else is dialed in. The only thing left to do is the customer wanted to do wheels. So we rendered a couple different renderings. We sent it to him, he's still deciding. And then uh, once that's done, we're gonna bring the car back in and we're gonna do the, install the wheels on it. But for now, they're gonna come pick it up tomorrow and I'm sure they're gonna love it. And this is how you're supposed to move a car with no seats. Do the best that you can. So Daniel's in the shop with this BRZ. He took everything apart and now we're gonna have to put everything together. So we're gonna put the supercharger on, the heat exchanger. The customer bought a oil cooler that's integrated into the radiator uh, from Jackson Racing. So we're gonna get everything installed. You guys, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. GTs here and I wanted to take this time to tell you guys a little bit about them. So I have the red and white one which is a first generation Ford GT. They were built from 2004 to 2006 and 4,038 units were built. They were powered by a 5.4 liter Ford Racing hand built motor made into a supercharger putting out 550 horsepower. So when these cars were built there was only four options possible with them. You could either get a sound system, you could get a racing stripes, you could get painted calipers or you can upgrade the stock factory wheels to BBS wheels which this car has all four options and you're just in luck because it's for sale like Alpine Ford actually. The one right next to it, the blue and exposed carbon fiber one is a second generation Ford GT. I think a little bit over 250 have been made so far. This particular model is unique because it's a competition package. I'll get back to that in just a moment but the regular Ford GT second generation will come powered with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost twin turbo motor putting out 650 horsepower. It's a two-seater configuration mid-engine as with the other one. This one being a competition package has weight savings and uh, race inspired goodies that make it a little bit more unique than the standard model. You have carbon fiber wheels, you have titanium lug nuts, you have titanium exhaust, you have carbon fiber mirror stems or mirror arms, you have uh, a carbon fiber strap that runs down the body of the vehicle, the middle of the vehicle, and it's in a chevron pattern. You have Alcantara inside, and you have a couple other key touches that you're gonna have that the regular standard models will not have. If you guys are ever in the area, we'd love to have you down here to take a look at these vehicles and the other vehicles we have for sale in the collection. So the Defender that we're working on had grills on the front, uh, headlights, and the taillights. And they kind of look weathered, they're a little bit rusty. So we want to just take care of it for the customer. It's something that we're not even charging, but while we're doing work on customers' vehicles, if there's things that we can take care of, we will go ahead and do it for them if it's within our means and if it's doable, you know, within the time frame of the build. In this case, it's doable, it's something that we could get done. So Ray has them off, he prepped them, and now uh, he painted them. So after we did the Black Raptor for Galpin Ford, they loved it and they wanted us to do another one. So they gave me a lead foot gray one. I got all the lower trim pieces painted, lead foot gray to match it, monotoned it out. And a lot of the black trim pieces on top, I had made gloss black to kind of contrast with it. Now for wheels, we didn't know what to do. We didn't know if we should go with the Vorsteiner wheels or the Roush wheels. So I posted it up on Instagram and you guys chose the wheels. So you guys chose the Vorsteiner wheels behind me. They're the Venom 601 wheels. We put 37 inch NATO tires on it. I think the truck looks awesome. Let me know what you guys think. The Defender 90 project is done. And not every vehicle that comes through here needs to be a full-on build. 
This customer just wanted to get the car summer ready and address the interior. So we found some all weather material that's gonna be UV resistant and waterproof and redid the interior in that fabric. We addressed the mechanical issues to get it ready to drive around and do trips to the beach and whatever he would wanna do with them. And then we also did a couple other touches, uh, things that we thought that it needed without even the customer asking. We uh, went ahead and did the fender flares and line X, we did them. The uh, headlight and taillight guards were rusted so we stripped them and painted them. Uh, the taillights needed some attention so we took care of them as well. And just in general we went through the vehicle and and just galvanized it. We made sure we put our touch on it and made sure we did something that the customer would be happy with. So the Subaru BRZ is done and it's behind me. So we've done a Edelbrock supercharger, Jackson Racing intercooler. We had to custom order the still in brakes. It took a couple weeks to get in, but they're in, they're on. The customer did a great job of choosing very tasteful mods on this vehicle, in my opinion. From the raised wheels, Michelin tires, he has TN suspension on it. He has a very nice carbon fiber package on it. Front, sides, rear, and the roof. I think he's done a great job accentuating the lines of the vehicle. And now with the power adders, it's absolutely a blast to drive. Check it out, guys. like the video click the like button if you guys have any comments please let us know comment below and as always and if you can dream it we can build it